more advanced players, we can't do the typical drills where they're just sitting there working on fielding position, right, left setup, that kind of stuff. Most of the advanced players know how to do that kind of stuff. So what we got to do is do things to try to push them beyond their normal capabilities. This right here is what we call and one transfers. So what they're going to do is they're going to put themselves in positions where they're doing some different type of transfers. It's going to simulate different plays in the game that they're creating. So what they're going to do is the first one is going to go around their back. The second one, they're going to go between their legs. The third one, they're going to have like a triple transfer. And the goal isn't to look flashy or anything like that. The goal is to learn how to transfer the ball from different areas and different angles. So you guys are going to start. What they're going to do is they're going to catch the ball, work around their back, and then throw it all in one motion. Go ahead, guys. So their, their goal is to catch it, transfer it quick. They're trying to do it as quick as they can around the back. If they fumble it or whatever, they're still trying to do it quick. So again, they're working on a different angle of a transfer, learning how to transfer the ball from their glove to their hand as quick as possible. Two more. After this one, we're going to go between our legs. So start going between your legs. This one right here is really good for a double play feed. Most of the time when there's a double play feed, it's going to be from a lower three-quarter to sidearm arm angle. So you can see how their body leans and their arm angle drops to about three-quarters. So this is a great, great drill for transferring the ball, learning how to throw from that three-quarter arm action. And the next one is a triple transfer. So they're going to triple, triple transfer the ball in between their legs. They're working on transferring the ball about three different times, and then they're going to continue to throw. So they're working on just glove work controlling the ball quickly, and learning how to get the ball out of their glove. Two more. Quicker. Let's go. Work. With the more advanced kids, challenge them too. Don't let them be half, half at it. Make sure they, they don't lazily do it. They work hard at it.